Welcome in, fam. If you're new or just passing through to my channel, welcome, welcome. My name is Tam. I'm also known as the Enlightenment Auntie. If you're returning, welcome back, squad. Here today to do a reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Today we're looking at Mercury retrograde and the lessons uh, that come with it. And we're also going to be looking at the Pisces full moon tomorrow and what needs to be released under that full moon, right? So let's just jump right into it. Sign of Capricorn. If any parts of this reading resonate for you or give you clarity on your own situation, please give the video a thumbs up so we can circulate the messages. Uh, if you'd like to book a personal more aligned with your own story, all of my information can be found below in the description box. And my books are always open. All right, so the first card out is Orphaned. I feel like somebody's feeling a little out on their own, feeling abandoned, rejected. I have chaos and conflict in the reverse, so this doesn't feel like a bad thing. Okay. So maybe you're in isolation or you've been isolated. I'm not taking all of those. That's too many. Maybe you've been in isolation or you feel isolated. Um, I know that a lot of us are still dealing with COVID stuff, so, you know, granted the world, everybody's outside. Maybe you might not be so much. Um, it doesn't, again, like I said, it doesn't feel like a bad thing. But you may be isolated. Chaos and conflict in reverse kind of tells me like you're not in that energy. So um, it's card number 33. And then we have peace in the reverse, which is kind of wild because peace in the reverse and chaos and conflict in the reverse kind of giving me very two very different readings they're giving me two very different energies um i kind of feel like with the peace card in reverse the thing that i'm noticing in this there has something to do with ungroundedness so there may be like maybe you're trying to i don't know develop something create something birth something right and whatever it is that you're doing may not be necessarily it ha it needs to be grounded you need to be grounded maybe you're in your head a lot because i'm looking at these clouds in the sky i feel like maybe you're in your head a lot especially when you're alone i would recommend meditation okay grounded All right, let's jump into it. What lessons are being presented for Capricorn during Mercury retrograde? Lessons for Capricorn during Mercury retrograde. Oh shit. The Empress in reverse in the tower. As a person, you know, that's somebody who's codependent and needy and selfish and money hungry and only focusing on they only focus they focus on everybody else but themselves the bad mother <laughs> somebody's about to lose their shit all right what lessons are being presented for capricorn during mercury retrograde lessons for capricorn during mercury retrograde Capricorn. Something has been done repetitively. And even though you may be aware that the what you're working with, because I kind of feel like there's a situation here that's falling apart. There's a situation here that's falling apart. It this could be talking this this could either be a group of people that you've been working with. This could be um dealing with people who are unsupportive um unsupportive to who you are or what you want or what you're doing this could be like you repetitively dealing with or doing something over and over again taking repetitive action right um even though you know what you're dealing with i kind of feel like i'm getting this energy like you know what you're dealing with um you know it's like knowing better but not doing better you know you have the awareness of what the right thing is to do 
but you recognize that somebody's not doing the right thing and you don't take any action against it or correct or no corrective action okay um because there's like literally it's like doing something over and over again or being aware of it or a party to it but not doing anything about it to correct it or fix it knowing better and not doing better okay um on the end with this king of swords this may be actually you making a decision to cut out these people who are unsupportive and maybe this is the realization you know because the hangman in reverse he is enlightened so he has an awareness but he doesn't take action you know there's a need to surrender something here and it could be these connections who are truly not supportive of who you are and what you want like stop doing that seeing the truth in something and making cuts based on that truth okay because i do feel like there's okay i'm also getting energy here too like and i'm saying three people in particular capricorn you may have three people in particular who have you who have either watched you do something repetitively knowing damn well knowing better you should have known better you just chose not to do better you have three people here that are watching you. They could even be egging you on to do this shit, but they don't support you. Not none. Door to personal healing and happiness. Caring connections in the reverse with the three cups in the reverse. Some definitely come into an end. <laughs> there, there's, there's literally no love here. Again, they don't support you. Door to value. They don't support you. They support what they see that you bring to the table. They see what you bring to the table. Storm more. I just saw storm morning in the reverse, kind of peeking out. So this revelation, like I feel like you're trying to get to your door of had like in order for you to get to the personal healing and happiness, you have to actually go through the door. You're being divinely led. You're being guided. But here in this hangman in reverse, you're not taking the actions. You're not moving forward. Instead, you've been invested in these un these caring connections in reverse. And all they're doing is trying to, you know, gas you for what it is that you bring to the table. Whether it's connections, whether it's resources. How to overcome the perceived obstacles for Capricorn. How does Capricorn overcome the perceived obstacles? How does Capricorn overcome the perceived obstacles? All right. In order for you to overcome the perceived obstacles, you're going to have to step up, take action, and tell somebody how you feel. You're dealing with somebody here who is codependent and completely unbalanced, completely emotional, a complete wreck. Okay? You got somebody here very similar. I don't know. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but you have somebody here who is codependent. I'm getting that energy very heavily. You have somebody here that's codependent. Um, they focus outward. They're not focusing on themselves. They're not focusing on if this is a mother, they're they're a bad mother. They don't take care of their kids. Um, they don't work. They don't do anything. This person doesn't do anything. And this feels like the 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 only way for you to overcome the obstacle of dealing with this situation and this uncaring connection because this person don't have no love for you. They don't really support you the way that you think they do. You need to come clean and tell them how you feel. Tell them how you feel about what you see. Yep, no more indecision. You might have been at a crossroad at one point of how to deal with it. Indecision is in the reverse. Yeah, there's a relationship. This is a contract. This could be a soul contract. 
you know, soulmates don't necessarily have to be romantic in nature. They just be people that you've been, you know, you've been with for lifetimes, right? Yeah, child, happy family in the reverse, contract and upright. So there's definitely something coming to an end or something coming to a close. But you're going to have to tell how, you're going to have to say how you feel. You're going to have to open up and come clean about how you feel in a very mature kind of way. Make the decision to take action and, and speak up about how you feel. All right. What does Capricorn need to release under this full moon? Woo. Okay, I'm gonna take the one that did flip, which was the Ten of Swords in reverse. So the, the, the whole thing, the lies, the backstabbing, the betrayal, the re, this relation, it's all connected, like releasing that. The worst is already behind you. Somebody poorly, and there was some poorly invested energy here. And I feel like you, you might even look at the situation. You may have just been, you know, continuously putting work into this dynamic or, or investing a lot of time and energy into a relationship. And you may be considering whether or not it was a good, a good investment of your time. Yeah, because you don't see anything. There's loss here. Unhappiness. Sadness. Lots of sadness. And then you've got somebody here as feminine energy who like, if this isn't you, this is somebody who holds back, like really withholds their, you know, this overly emotional person. You have somebody here who's really emotional, but they keep secrets. They keep secrets. Yeah, I kind of feel like somebody here was trying to create some type of loss or a or a blockage with um, a blockage with your creativity, maybe. That's what I'm getting. Or you may also have been at a crossroad at one point about creative pursuits. There may have been a creative pursuit that at one point created some some type of loss for you. I also feel as though you're being guided to as well that even though that the situation has been tough and you experienced like backstabbing and betrayal and there have been lies and it had been a really, you know, a really gnarly relationship to still appreciate the situation for the lessons that you have learned right because there's a lesson in all things you have as long as you show appreciation for what the, the the distance that you've come from where you were before like you know better now you see, you're seeing things now clearly where you didn't see them before like show appreciation for that all right what steps does capricorn need to take to prepare for the new moon cycle stay balanced make fair balanced decisions based on truth and honesty <laughs> yes I love it yes there we go it's a missed opportunity whoever this there was a situation here that is a missed opportunity there, there's another another opportunity coming towards you okay and it's gonna make you very happy focus on the bad focus on things that are gonna bring you stability and long-term prosperity you got outside energies here that are very hostile about the things that you're doing. Hostile about your about your um, opportunities. Mm -hmm. Self esteem. They they hate the fact that your self esteem is that you're like you feel good. You know what you're doing. Yeah, you're gonna choose something else, and they're not gonna like it. This feels like moving with confidence, moving forward with confidence, despite the hostilities around you. Don't worry about other people. They're going to be mad. Don't worry about that. That ain't your problem. Literally. 
Yeah, there's a relationship here or a marriage. This may be relating to some type of partnership or contract or commitment. Okay. There may be someone here that's pregnant. You may, there may be someone around you who's pregnant or giving birth or just given birth. There may be even um, thoughts of relocation or moving. A journey. Someone's not following their intuition. Someone's not listening to their intuition. Someone's not listening to their intuition or not connected to their subconscious. Emotions could be all over the place. I did say that here before. All right, and then you have some, may have some unexpected expenses um, or small continual losses over time. This mice card has been coming up a lot. So you could have some thievery or some shit going on around you that you may not notice. Now the thievery doesn't necessarily have to do with abundance, monetary abundance, but it could be like uh, energy vampires, people stealing your resources or stealing your ideas or still just being sneaky, right? There's nothing you can do right now. Relax. Meditate on it. Be still. Adjust your perspective. See all sides. If you have a question, the answer is maybe, likely no. Forgiveness is for you, not them. Healing is necessary. Maybe seeing synchronicities of one, one, one thoughts become things manifest and prosper. It's suffering silently. There's no extra points for being a martyr. Who are you doing it for and why? Let's get a couple of shadow reflection cards. Take a fucking nap. You've become self-absorbed and closed off. The answers aren't found outside of yourself. Go within. Out of control. Your actions or patterns are risky, impulsive, and reckless. You lack self-control in your life. Bottom of the deck is don't get played. Love is blind. Don't allow your loyalty to get you caught up. Acknowledge what is there and what isn't. All right, my friends, I'm going to leave it there. Um, if any parts of this resonated for you or give you clarity on your own situation, please give the video a thumbs up. If you'd like to book a personal more line with your own story, all of my information is below in the description box. My books are always open. I appreciate all of you who have been showing my channel support and love um, by way of donations and tips. I appreciate them all and the memberships. Thank you so much, and I love you. Until next time, take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye.